So all these things have been put in place to ensure that there is a on management this matter for of a bit. health. Um, Mr. Nassamo, I hope you can hear me. I wanted us to stay on this matter for a bit. Now we're talking about the facilities, the medical facilities in our camps. So let's talk more and see uh, if there is a need somewhere or a lack somewhere. Uh, was there, looking at what she presented uh, before the doctors, because so many doctors have been speaking on this, if you uh, have been following up, you will listen to so many doctors and they were asking questions. I, as if you, I don't know, if, tell us, was there a time she was giving penicillin? Uh, uh, because they would love to know if this was uh, some kind of reaction. Uh, no. I can tell you no for two reasons. Because the report, which includes uh, doctor's treatment, was brought to Abuja there was no record of penicillin. When, she, when she, she was given the standard malaria drugs, after which she was also given uh, intravenous uh, fluid, the, the, the standard uh, uh, glucose fluid, when she complained of uh, uh, loss of energy. There was no record, at least at the camp clinic, to show that she was given penicillin, no. And it was on her first appearance that these rashes were noticed by the doctors. And all the doctors are there. They can be visited to be verified. I mean, for this information to be verified. And the records are there too. There was no penicillin in any of the medicines administered on her. None. He talks about the regiment in the camp. Uh, you know, and it's something that a lot of people look forward to, and maybe some people don't like it. But a lot of coppers or potential coppers, when they're going to the camp, they've heard all sort of stories, and they wonder what theirs is going to be like. Now, I ask for the time when you know when coppers just get to camp. I would have thought that there will be a period where they will be settled in and you know told what to expect. But it would seem that nowadays that is beginning to change somewhat. That some people are giving what they call a welcoming parade by the soldiers. In some instances, as you're coming into the camp, you're asked to drop your luggage and then do a frog jump to, you know, to welcome you, as it were. When you have that kind of situation, for people who have potential health challenges, how are they able to escape such a situation without looking like as if they've come to the camp to, you know, be lay about? Uh. Thank you. You know, sometimes it is also good to, to visit camps, to know what happens. That used to be in the past, long ago. But NYC authorities have, have insisted that it shouldn't be. Uh, again, because like you mentioned, you don't know the health conditions of these core members. And in a standard military training camp, there is a medical report, medical test on everybody. But because of the compulsory nature of the, of the service, you don't do this on core members. So basically, no, it's not. But again, in this case of Kano, there was the, 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 the usual military drills had not started because the weekend interjected within the period of uh, the, the opening of the camp. And so the usual swearing in was delayed till Monday the 28th. For that reason, the only thing that the coppers did was to simply rehearse for the swearing in, here. which was Monday. Uh, Mr. Nassamo, Monday. so that you can hear me, uh, we really have to move with some form of uh, speed here so that we can cover a whole lot. Nigerians are interested in this, and I'm quite sure you heard the National Assembly also talking about this. When she was presented with those rash or rashes, what, what was she treated? Because you were talking about she was giving maybe malaria medications, and they saw those rashes. So what exactly uh, were the medications given for the rash? Now, all I'm telling you is uh, what has been contained in the report from the medical doctors 
at all from the various hospitals. That is the clinic as well as uh, the secondary hospital in Guazo. When she appeared at, for the first time in the evening of 27, and she was treated for malaria, the rashes were noticed. And she gave an answer. And the answer was that she wore the knickers that she bought from a second-hand market and she had not disinfected it, which, of course, uh, is reasonable, in that, and that she was reacting to it. And the next appearance was in the early hours of 28, when her friends brought her back to the clinic because she was now vomiting. You know, that's and I, that's to the best to come in here, because if we say, as contained uh, uh, in the report, uh, sorry to cut you here again, Mr. Nasamo, if we say the clinics and the camps are good and up to date, perhaps uh, a simple test, test as uh, to test, and we're talking about urinalysis now, how is it that the camps don't have it? Uh, it took them uh, to get into a tertiary institution, health facility, before they were able to diagnose what you just highlighted about the kidney. Uh, 